In today's video, I'm going to break down six things that's going to help you determine if you should stay or let that relationship go. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, look, this video might be the shortest video that I've ever done because I am going to give y'all six quick things that's going to help you determine if you should stay or let that relationship go. And as I'm talking, I just realized that this information not only applies to romantic relationships, but all relationships, family, friends, colleagues, and so on and so forth. But if you do want a longer expanded version of this video, let me know in the comment section and I'll record one later on just for you. The first thing that you need to do is get out of your feelings. Yes, I said it. Get out of your feelings. This is where you need to get logical. You need to sit down, take some deep breaths, get crystal clear on what is going on. Because if you go off of your feelings, honey, feelings are not always indicative of truth. Y'all know I always say that, but also too, it can lead you in the wrong direction. So think about all of the feelings that you want to feel, feel them real quick, and then put them to the side because you're not going to need them until later on in this video. The whole point of this is to be able to assess the relationship with a clear head, or at least as clear as possible. The second thing that you're gonna to need to do is to go old school. Now I know some of y'all probably don't even know what a pen and paper is, <laughs> but you need to whip out a pen and paper and fold it in half and write on one side a pros list and write on the other side a cons list. Now I didn't say an iPad, I didn't say notes in your phone, I said whip out old school piece of paper, fold it in half and write pros at the top and cons on the other side. So you're gonna write the good things on one side of the paper and you're gonna write the not so good things on the other side of the paper. Now, this isn't the time to evaluate whether which side is longer or which side is shorter. Just do what I say and write the list. The third thing that you're gonna do is to answer this question truthfully. Is the person you are in relationship with, are they authentic and are they honest? Answer that truthfully. And to be honest with you, whatever quick answer just came to your head, that's probably the correct one. The fourth thing that you're gonna do is you're going to look at the core values. Now, if you don't know what core values are, core values are essentially the root belief that a person operates from and that governs their behavior. So I want you to think about, do your core values align? Do the things that are important to you, that resonate with you, that you value on a very high level, is that something that your partner or the person you are in relationship with, do they also value them on a high level? If you value honesty and truthfulness on a high level as a core value, being with somebody who is the opposite, aka a liar, does not necessarily align. So you do the math, but that's just one example. Studies show that differences initially attract us to each other, but similarities are what keep us together long term. I'm going to say that again for the people in the back. Differences, huge differences, are what initially attracts us to other people, but what keeps us together long term in a healthier relationship are similarities. And number five is the pattern or the course that this relationship on is a sustainable long term, meaning can you keep doing this? for a long, 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 long time or indefinitely. And last but not least, number six is to write down your logical decision. And then after that, remember those feelings that we put to the side? I need for you to go ahead and grab them and bring them back over here. Let, let me go get them for you. Okay, look, so those feelings, I need for you to get those again, incorporate them back into the mix, and then tell me how you feel. So I hope these quick six gems and nuggets help to put you on the direction of whether you needed to stay in this relationship or you needed to let this relationship go. Now, y'all know me, I have a book called Hard Work or Harmony where I talk about this specifically. I talk about is a relationship that you are currently in, is it in a difficult season or is it a dead end? But listen, you get to decide. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I hope to see you in the next one and I'll see you soon.